welcome back. This is our last section of the course. If you are at this stage, then you have done a lot of work. In which case, I would like to congratulate you. This section is providing information services in the digital age. The section highlights on some of the widely used information technologies that have transformed the landscape of library information provision and the specific ways in which these technologies have affected the transformation. The section will look at modern information technology trends, such as social media and the web 2.0, and how they influence information services. Section outline. The key topics to be covered in this session are as follows. Topic one, conceptualizing the digital age, the role of libraries and library users in the digital age, in the digital technologies and the library. Let us first establish an understanding of what the digital age entails. Topic one, conceptualizing the digital age. What is the digital age? It is a time frame in history that the use of digital technology becomes prevalent and of common use throughout the world. Given the idea of what the digital age is, one may ask, what is digital? Digital describes electronic technology that generates, stores, and processes data in terms of two states, positive and non-positive. Positive is expressed or represented by the number one and non-positive by the number zero. Prior to digital technology, electronic transmission was limited to analog technology, which conveys data as electronic signals of varying frequency that are added to carrier waves of a given frequency. Now, the changing role of libraries and library user demand in the digital age none that establish what digital age is. The advent of this digital age has transformed the activities of man in the number of ways. This transformation does not exclude the access to and the provision of information. Let us turn attention to some of the re re remarkable ways in which the digital age has affected information providers and information users. Consequently, libraries are becoming less important for material they collect or house. Instead, they are, their importance is being measured in respect to the fulfillment of the user's requests. A library is a means of access to information, ideas, and works of imagination. Online research services allow patrons to pose questions and get answers from librarians without having to physically visit the library. This is one of the technologies that has changed the library services. Another way that technology has changed library services is the use of mobile applications to assess library materials and programs. Again, GPS navigation apps are used to help patrons locate materials inside the library building. When we talk about online research services, what we mean is that users in the digital age are more interested in how and when the information center can meet their information needs. So we are saying that this technology allows patrons to post questions and get answers from library without having to visit the library. Even sometimes after library hours, you still get answers to your questions because of this new technology called information, digital age. We have other ones, we have the red box, we have the Amazon star, etc. At this juncture, you can tell how the information user and the information provider are being transformed by the digital age. The previous topic identified in general some of the ways in which digital technology affect library information services. This topic follows up with a specific digital technology that have spearheaded the digital transformation process in libraries, and that is the Web 2.0 and the social media.
what is this technology, Web 2.0? It's a second stage of development of the internet, characterized especially by the change from the static web page to dynamic or user-generated content and the growth of social media. Web 2.0 is the term used to describe a variety of websites and applications that allow anyone to create and share online information or material they have created. A key element of this technology is that it may be possible for nearly anyone to create, share, collaborate, and communicate on the web and the internet, regardless of their technical know-how. What are some of its repercussions to information provision? The Web 2.0 technology has reinforced and redefined the focus of information provision to embrace other concepts such as knowledge management. With the aid of this technology, information users and providers are able to engage in KM activities such as best practices, community of practice, etc. The next one is social networking or social media. Social networking allows an individual to create a profile for themselves on their services and share that profile with others. Users can choose to have public profile, which can be viewed by anyone, or private profile, which can only be viewed by people that are in the user's profile. Users can usually post pictures, music, videos, etc. on the site. Popular social network services include Facebook and Twitter, which I'm aware you know. The next one is wikis and the KM, that's knowledge management. A wiki is a collaborative website that anyone within the community of users can contribute to or edit. A wiki can be open to a global audience or can be restricted to a selected network or community. Wikis can cover a specific topic or subject area. Wikis also make it easy to search or browse for information. Example is the Wikipedia. Wikis are used to enhance KM activities such as sharing knowledge by experts in the same field. It affords scholars in the field of collaborate and share knowledge, mainly based on the Web2 technology. The next one we talk about is the podcasting. Digital technologies have also paved the way for podcasting. What is podcasting? It's a way of making audio available on the internet that can be listened to on the PC or downloaded to a handheld device such as an iPod or MP3. Podcast is used to enhance information services. You should visit the Information Service Department of the Ministry of Information and Media Resources and Media Relations, Ghana. For students who are not in Accra, you may consider a regional or district office close to you. Compare and contrast their ways of managing and disseminating information from the pre-digital to the digital era. You may present this as a chronology of historical accounts of services. Suggest realistic and viable ways by which some of their current service, services can be improved using digital technologies. Congratulations. All too soon we have come to the end of our course. I hope you have learned a lot on the nature the relevance and use of information services. Remember, your learning does not end with this section. Learning is an ongoing process. And as such, I entreat you to go ahead, being guided by the reading materials and the course outline to read more and expand your knowledge on the course. I wish you the best of luck in your academic endeavor. And I hope to see you during the revision for the course. Goodbye for now. Thank you, students.